What's up guys, we're going to be talking about Black Ops 3 on last gen. So, right now we don't have any official confirmation about whether or not Black Ops 3 will come out for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. And the PlayStation YouTube channel may give us evidence that Black Ops 3 will be current gen only. On the Black Ops 3 teaser trailer that PlayStation uploaded to their YouTube channel, they have labeled it PS4 only. And on other games that are released on both systems, they include both PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 3 in the title. There was also a post on Reddit that mentioned if you go to treyarch.com slash jobs and scroll down to QA tester temporary, there's a section that says uh, experience with multiple video game testing platforms, PS4, PS3, Xbox One, Xbox 360, Wii U, and PC. And one thing that's pretty interesting about this is that the Wii U is included. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare wasn't made for the Wii U. And I don't think that they would suddenly backtrack it and suddenly make the game for Wii U after skipping a year. But Treyarch has handled all the ports for the Wii and Wii U. So since this year's game is going to be made by Treyarch, it would be fitting for them to make it for the Wii U. And also when you visit your profile page on CallOfDuty.com, it now allows you to link your Nintendo ID. And... Just in general, Activision needs to drop the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3. And with Advanced Warfare, Sledgehammer Games made the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC version, while a different studio, High Moon, they made the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 version. And I have played quite a bit of the Xbox 360 version. I've put about six days into that version alone. And the difference between the Xbox 360 version and the Xbox One is astounding. Just on the 360, the game is so bad, the menus are super freaking laggy, um, supply drops are laggy and op to open, uh, just the whole UI is slow, uh, calling cards and emblems just look absolutely horrible, characters are really bad quality, and there's even a couple patches that got delayed for the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, so there's a patch that came out in December for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC and PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 users didn't get that patch till the very end of January. So, they need to utilize the full power of the Xbox One and PS4, and in Black Ops 2 Zombies map Green Run, there was fog in the map because the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 couldn't process slash handle the map without the fog separating the parts of the map, and Treyarch can't make super big maps in Black Ops 3 because the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3 wouldn't be able to handle it. As of February 28th, 2015, according to VGCharts.com, Advanced Warfare has sold 10.47 million copies on the Xbox One and PS4, whereas it has sold 7.44 million copies on the 360 and the PlayStation 3. So it's about a 60-40 split between it. The Xbox One and PS4 is uh, the 60%, the 360, and the PS3 are in the 40%. So right now there are more players on current gen than last gen. So a lot of people are upgrading. But there's also a lot of factors that go into people upgrading. Price is one of them. At launch, the Xbox One was 500 bucks, and, and now it has dropped down to 350 And also there's a lot of bundles out there for the Xbox One. There is an Assassin's Creed bundle, a Halo bundle, a... Titanfall bundle, a Sunset Overdrive bundle, there's a ton of bundles out there that you can get that include a bunch of games with it and make it really cheap and the Xbox One has even gone on sale I think as low as maybe 325 they even have like a $120 credit discount if you trade in an Xbox 360 or a PlayStation 3 so these consoles are now getting cheaper and cheaper so more people will upgrade to them but in the end, Activision will do what's most profitable. So since many people have yet to get an Xbox One or PS4, Activision will likely continue selling the game for last gen. And also, lastly, something to note, with the Black Ops 3 beta that was leaked, it only says that the beta is for the Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. No mention of the last gen, so maybe Activision is just dropping last gen altogether. And yeah. Thank you guys for watching, let me know down below what your thoughts are about this, and I'll see you guys next time.